here at Homo Dojo on New Year's Day. Uh, today we will continue the work that we are performing on this week and along all this past year 2014 and we start this year 2015 with the idea to continue uh, showing you uh, some particular uh, methods concerning the season tradition. Uh, on, as I have explained uh, on this uh, on this past week, we have shown you uh, some uh, some methods concerning what it's called schema no ho, that are the ancient methods of the season that uh, they uh, took to the uh, to what it's uh, right now or in or or own Aikido Jutsu. Then here uh, Shidoji Yoda brought to me what. They were their, their notes uh, for studying all these methods that we are, uh, we are explaining today. We, I have here two, two papers, two documents that offer us an idea how uh, they were on this document that it was from the beginning. Uh, this information were also very um, always corrected, uh, taking care that the kanji were properly written and not in a bad way. Then this is the, the initial, this is the, the first one, and after that this is in a more formal writing as a, um, as a compound of all the, all the information. I will try with my, because I am not a Japanese speaker, I am only still a student from Japanese, but with this I will try to, to explain what uh, kanji, what characters and what's the meaning that we have here. 
First of all, what we have here, it's season nomichi. That means that this is the way of the season. And we have a very particular way to, to, to write here because we don't have okuden, we have okume no sho, that is the document for uh, to uh, deep vision of this season tradition. We have here Juni uh, Hoho, that means is the method of 12 methods that we have inside this, uh, this Shukimano Ho. Uh, we have uh, shown in a, pa in, a, in, in a past video five of these 12 methods that concerns what is ginseng kasai that we have explained. We have here the suiro po that we have here on second place. Sukima that is the third. Uh, Mukejin that is the fourth and the fifth one that we have explained on the on this past video. We have here the sei seki. For today, uh, you could see on some images, some scenes about the explanation of the of the rest that are the the other seven we have here on first time what it's yusa ten that it's the 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 sixth hiken seven senritsu the eighth hakugoku that is the uh, the ninth kuzan shoryoku and uh, mokuba then after that i will explain um, in a more detailed uh, explanation with uh, with the techniques what's the meaning of all of them and the origins thank you very much okay on first place uh, let's uh, talk about your sub 10 the six uh, uh, six method of the sukimanoho uh, yo comes from feeling, this sack uh, comes from distinction or difference, and this ten comes from dot or mark. Then it's to put a mark in order to make the difference of the feeling. If in this case, Sensei Rebecca uh, believes truly that uh, she is trying to restrain me or to catch me or uh, get impression to me, uh, we will chance in a very soft movement also very violent that we could see uh, how to change completely the the the, uh, the will to do it and in this case for example she grasped me on I have me tekubitori with the idea take care that maybe to restrain here draw a tanto and stop and kill me in a very very violent method then starting from that point what I will do it's, I will do it very slowly, taking care because we are dealing with a woman and in this case I need to be careful with her. Then I will do it in a very technical way. What I will do is I will move with the idea to restrain here and cut the other arm by the back in order to keep here on this control. If you could see, from here I could break, it's also quite much violent and from here I will grab from the from the jaws from the from the from the face here in order to implosion to make uh, a fall down to the ground make doing that also falling over my knee of course I am doing here very slow but the idea it's one two Three, breaking, breaking and falling from here in order that my knee break completely the back and also I have and leverage to perform hit the twist on the neck from here go to the ground we make that the forearm stand on the ground and from here my foot enters I turn in order to twist and perform a twisting uh, leverage on the shoulder and from here I grab again on the on the face on the here and I perform a very uh, powerful uh, lock and breaking technique. 
Then we have started with a very uh, difficult situation and we have transformed it in a very violent technique. Thank you very much and let's see the next method. Okay, let's go to Hiken, that is the following uh, method. Uh, Hiken is composed by Chukanji, the first he that comes from Himeru, that means uh, to hide or to keep in secret, and the Ken, that means ki. Uh, both together means like uh, hidden mysteries or uh, secret principle. Then uh, Hiken is whatever you perform in this method, that you could hide from the enemy and then it seems that it, it doesn't be appearing on the technique. And after that, and after that it's a, a key principle on the technique. And for example, we could see the following one. I have uh, released a little uh, the, the Hakama in order to, to, to be wide because the key here is to have uh, white clothes because the hidden uh, weapons and the hidden uh, ways to perform this method it's where you have something that you could hide inside the clothes instead of being maybe your limbs in this case it will be my left uh, my left uh, leg then for example if uh, Sensor Rebecca from here will uh, try to attack me on a Makuchi it will be maybe with a tanto or whatever, in this case it would be without any, uh, any weapon from here, I will move to have this control, but when she is caring about what I am having on my hands, what I am doing the pressure on the shoulder, I will move and I will have this foot around her leg. This will make two uh, make, he, make her to knee down and from here go to that, that point. If you could see, I have restrained her own leg here that I could maybe put inside my, inside my, uh, my lap or I could knee over with a very, very uh, painful way. The key here it's also two turn. I am doing very softly as a way of not uh, injuring my partner. But you could do it from here, for example. It's very painful. Also, you could perform that it's very particular from here. You could do it on a cote hineri from here. But of course, the key here is to uh, behave in a very tough way then the key here is if you are capable from here to put inside sorry I will use here be careful I put the foot inside my uh, left leg and from here I could do it like a scissors technique here to break the ankle and also make a pressure on this here on the on the leg and at the same time I apply I could open and from here also make the same pressure move it and also lean on the elbow in order to break completely what it's here and for example if I turn in order to see what is happening here I will release right now I will uh, here for be more capable Take a look what it was happening here. I am putting inside here in order to extend completely all the calf and having this control. If I move here and knee on, it will be very, very painful. I am releasing the arm in order to, for them being hard. With this, I could, if you could see, here on the Cote Hineri to have this control, I continue the putting the weight here to control open. I could step on and also I could break and I could go in order to 
gain control. And if you could see, it's like a movement that you are uh, breaking one by one, one by one. I am moving very slow right now. I am not waiting on the wrist. I am not uh, putting weight here on the calf. I am right now. She is completely uh, capable of escaping. But uh, I am trying only to explain that this is a very violent method because I could move, I could have this control here, and from here I could, if you could see it here to break, I could uh, make from here to open completely the neck and perform like a secret or hidden key in order to uh, cause uh, several injuries in the body of the of the enemy. Then this is the the method called Hiken. Okay, the next one is named Sen Ritsu. This Sen comes from Tatakai, that means war, battle, and this Ritsu comes from fear. Uh, then it's like uh, the fear of war, but it could be also translated both together, both characters, as uh, to tremble with fear or to shudder, etc. Then the idea from here is when uh, the enemy is performing a very strong attack with the aim of uh, the purpose of a war situation, we will employ uh, several angles and several uh, conditions that will cause uh, uh, very dangerous injuries to the enemy in very uh, hard positions. For example, uh, the technique that we have separated today is the following one. In this case, she will grab me on katamote uh, tekubitori, and from here, what I will do is I will move here. From here, I will grab both wrists. I will pass backwards, and my and my arm will pass together to go to this point because. To this position, I will move. This position, we are finding Tsukima, and uh, at the same time, what we are doing is uh, to cause a position that she will fear to arrive. And it's like the fear of war, because any movement that we could perform here will cause uh, very hard injuries to the enemy. Then from here, we could go here, I will release a little for not uh, injure my partner and going to the ground, breaking completely what's the neck on this position, causing uh, joint locks on the cervical area. For here, also, come here, up a little, okay. We will try to keep on Seiza position in order as to say, to knee down her from here to have this strong control. I will explain from here several and interesting uh, positionings from this method that you need to know as a basic concept that, uh, that uh, covers this method. From here I will open and from here I will pass here to have this control on the neck. I, I release the arms to explain here what is happening. Here, I restrain the neck, open it, and with my thumb, I press in order to have, sorry, to have a, a pressure making a, a push forward in order to cause a breaking condition on the neck. This is very, very painful, and of course, we have damaged the cervical on this before and right now on this. The next step here, okay, I am doing very slowly without uh, continuing on the technique because I don't want to hurt my partner. Then from here, what, what I will do is I will ask my partner because this is one of the most violent techniques that I could show you. They perform, they put the, sorry, they put the neck, sorry, Please move. Okay. They put the neck downside my lap, downside my leg. 
then this is very, very uncomfortable and cause uh, several uh, pain to the enemy from here. Sorry. The key here is to step inside, to step on. You could see that the neck is on this side, sorry, and need to be open. And from here we have the control on this elbow. The elbow is controlled and this causes a very powerful lock both to the neck and both to the elbow. Here I am a little uncomfortable because I am carrying on my partner, but of course the key here is to step on, to wait, very powerful on the lap with the idea to break here in a, in a twisting method because you can see that the neck is twisted and we have here overextended the elbow and here I have the control on the other because I could do it in a, both movements here in order to break both arms here. Then this is very powerful as you can see and from that I am turning again. I Relax by now, I relax my partner, I move forward with the idea to enter one, I need to control here, I will release it as a way to get more comfortable to Sensei Rebecca, but the idea is to have united, to have joined both wrists. From here I cross, sorry, in order don't, don't, uh, uh, how to say, uh, don't uh, damage my partner, turn face to the other side and right now I get uh, here the face in order to perform a twisting method you can see it, you can see it from here here we could break in a double movement making the arm go to that side and the neck twist in the other the key, you could maybe from here to be more painful to keep control here on that or also move it and from here you have the both control from here the masters used to explain very different, different positions also having this from here also having this on this situation and passing to the other side and from here perform a very several injuries to the enemy because the key here for this Senbitsu is to continue with the idea of damaging, damaging like a torture and this is uh, a basic introduction of what it sent it to this method from Sujimana.